on the scrounge today, this morning, and this is going to be my new compost um, compost um, bears. Ask and you shall receive. So, I smell of fresh pine. We've got to build it here. So I was thinking of building it along here. Three bears. Level out the ground here a bit. And lots of digging to do. Because this has already been used here as a kind of a, a tip, a default um, compost place anyway. So it'll be a good place there, I think. And it's not a good place for growing because it's, it's in the shade mostly. So I better get to work. So that's kind of roughly how it's going to look. Uh, I've got to, uh, I'm just thinking there's not enough room for a three bear one, so it's just going to have to be a two bear one. But um, it'll still be okay. <laughs> So it's been a long day and I've got the thing almost set up now. As you can see, uh, put these pieces on here so I can just put on a tarp on top to stop water getting in a little roof on there. And next job is, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it yet, but probably put these metal hasps on that I found and use those to slot the uh, planks in and so I'll just have to see what material I've got and see how it works but it turned out all right not spent a penny apart from nails uh, screws which I already had anyway and all scraps of wood that I find lying about so I'll just see how it looks with this Tarpaulin on top now. Well, that tarpaulin went already good. That water right through. Back to the drawing board with tarpaulin. Now we've got to work out a way to fix on some slats on the front. Just a little bit short. So we just have to extend that a little bit there and there. And then we can successfully put the pallets in. Let's not be lazy. Pre-drill your holes, otherwise you'll just end up splitting your wood. It's tempting to just put the screws in, but three out of five times it'll split the wood, especially with thin laps. <laughs> Yeah. 
didn't take the time to put a drill in. Didn't take long, did it? So now we should have the correct width to slot in the uh, pallets, the little pallets. I want to make it so it goes as smooth as possible because I don't want to be faffing about, you know, because things don't fit properly. Just testing it out really. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Should do. Put one hasp there. These don't have to be level, but it just looks better if things are level. If you're wondering where I got these hasps from, they're one of those things that you have sitting around in your workshop for years and years. They were in there for about 10 years, even more, 15 years, and I never thought of a use for them. But like most of the stuff that you throw out, you end up finding you need it, so I'm glad I didn't throw them out now. So that's the uh, compost bears just about finished. And I'll just put in the doors and you can see how it goes. It's a bit rough. And I had to use this crappy plastic on top because it's all I had laying about. And I tried to use a tarpaulin the other day, but it was, it was porous, it was leaking. So I'll just put these gates in and you can see how this looks now when it's finished. Now, as you can see, I've just used two small pallets in there, but that might be modified later. So I'm going to see how, how it goes because uh, it might be better if you can just put the separate lats in there rather than taking out this whole thing all the time. But see how it goes. Fill it up with a bit of compost and see how it works. Now you can see the rough plastic, which has already got a hole in it because it's that stuff, that, um, it's not UV material, I don't think. So these pallets will rot away in about eight or 10 years, I think anyway. And I could have made myself a little tiled roof on this, but it's just not worth it because it's a semi-permanent structure and uh, as long as it just keeps the rain off the uh, compost, and that should be all right. And the ugliness of it is hidden from this tree anyway. So that's building a compost bay from old pallets. And now we've just got to fill it up and see if it works as compost uh, as an improvement on them green plastic bins which don't seem to work at all. So I've just got to collect some stuff and fill them all up now. So have a great day.
Have a great day.